A lot of a lot of honors uh, for for this. Uh, how do you feel just overall about this, the selections? Well, I think anytime you have a team that's done what we have done, um, going through the conference season undefeated, um, you know, winning the conference outright, uh, it should be reflected in, in guys uh, being honored in, in such a way. Um, you know, individuals certainly make up a team, and you need. You know, guys like a bunch of our seniors in particular to have the years that they've had. So, you know, excited for the whole group. Uh, excited for Tommy and Brody to be the offense and defense players of the year. And, you know, I think what you see there is that's not all about, you know, it's not about stats. I think it's, uh, it's about what those two guys um, do to impact our result each week. You know, I, you know, I think beyond the obvious with Tommy and all the things that need to be def defended based on his skill set. Um, but then I look at Brody. Brody statistically did not have this crazy year, but each and every week, um, the way he impacted uh, you know, a quarterback, um, that's hard to quantify. So excited for those guys. And then, then, then Adam getting you know, the freshman year, I think, is well-deserved. Um, he stepped up big on more than just this past Saturday. And you know, I think he, he's very deserving of that. Three Montana natives that you just named there, I guess. Can you just kind of speak to the significance of that and what it means to the state? No, I think it's significant. I, I know you can go beyond that with Marcus and, and Ryland and McCade all as his first team. Paul is a second team guy. Um, yeah, to get the very best guys in our state uh, to come to Montana State is, is, is critical to our success. And then, you know, obviously get the right ones and then, you know, turn them loose with Coach Heron uh, and our coaching staff and, you know, allow them to develop. Because um, there are a lot of good football players, you know, in the state of Montana that come to the high school ranks. And, um, you know, it's, it's our hope that those young guys that are making their way now can look and say, well, I, I can go to Montana State and become the next Marcus Weir if I'm an old lineman, the next McCade O'Reilly if I'm a linebacker, Brody Greeby if I'm a DN, et cetera. You know, and I think when we can have examples like that, and those guys have gone from being high school, you know, stars in this state to, you know, stars at our level, that's significant. Uh, you guys suffered some big injuries on defense this season, but to see several of those guys pop up on the all conference selection, I guess, what does that mean for that, that side of the ball? Yeah, you know, I was I was particularly pleased that Danny got mentioned because Danny was playing at that kind of clip and he, he gets hurt. I think that would have been game seven. So for, for him to play over half of um, the conference season or less than half the conference season, excuse me, but, but you know, still garner that respect, um, you know, real pleased for him in, in particular. And, you know, I'm certain, you know, you know, Blake Schmidt would have been maybe on that track as well. Um, but I, But I think... More than anything, uh, you know, we got a really good senior group, and you know we've, we've lost a couple of those guys in Blake and Danny. We lost Caden Dollar, but we had really good guys, you know, um, that were able to step into their place, and um, you know, that's the mark of the, the type of team we have, um, the mark of the type of program, you know, that we want to uh, want to have, where it isn't just about one guy. And I think, you know, if you ask Tommy and Brody, they'd be the first ones to say their honors are. You know, we're, that's an offensive, it's a reflection of our offense, reflection of our defense, and they just uh, have to just bestowed those honors. Your second coach of the year, um, how did you feel about that honor? Well, I think uh, along the same lines, um, you know, our team did really well, and, and our team won all its conference games, and, and I think, you know, uh, an honor like that is a team award. It's a, it's a reflection of our team, it's a reflection of our staff. Um, really being consistent and you know I think the appreciation from across the conference I, I uh, you know that's that's great and, and but it's it's much more about our team and our staff and it's certainly just me. Uh, talk about the Montana guys but bringing in a guy like Rohan um, and him getting a first team selection like a, I guess just thoughts about his season and getting that on. Yeah uh, yeah I know he didn't get new, newcomer but um, <coughs> you know I think his his role, his impact, you know, on our program has been uh, has been noted for sure. And, and you know, he's found a way. It seems like every week to have a like, to make a big play. And I know, you know, this time last year when we finished our season, I think you look back and he said we we really missed Derek. You know, Derek in its full form or his full form, and then Derek when we didn't have him. 
And I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that we decided to go that direction and I'm, I'm thankful we, we found a guy like Ro to be able to come in and really make uh, an impact uh, in his own right, you know, with our program. And I think whether he was up for fullback or tight end, I think either way, I think he would have been able to find himself on that list. Uh, just with, with Tommy, I mean, how, how much growth have you, you've talked a lot about him this year, but just, uh, you know, now to see it kind of culminate in this, um, yeah. what I say about his growth? Uh, I think it's, you know, it speaks to it certainly. I, he's been a second team all conference guy each of the last two years. Um, he's probably been in that conversation in, in the, the preseason, at least last year, I, I, I think, as a, you know, preseason player of the year, and you know, certainly was in that conversation again this year. So for him to come out and, um, garner that respect from from our opponents um, I think speaks to what they see in, in I guess totality you know it's not just his running exploits um, you know I, I I'm certain they see a guy that can 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 and has made tons of big plays in the passing game um, and then a guy that makes incredible decisions and I, I do think at quarterback you do get to uh, the benefit of the doubt when your team goes 12 and 0 and 8 and 0 in the league, and I think they sh that you should. Um, so I know we have some really good individuals uh, in, in our in our conference that were up for that uh, that honor, and for Tommy to get it, I think it just speaks to you know um, his his body of work certainly, but what he's been able to do this year, and I think you know that's become a, a complete quarterback. And then with Brody, is anything specifically you've seen kind of uh, improve the most this year? Well, I think he's he's taken on more attention this year, and you know we've used him in more ways. Um, you know, standing him up a little bit more, putting him over guards more. Um, you know, and, and for him to feel comfortable, okay, I'm going to draw this attention, but someone else is maybe going to be the beneficiary of a sack. I think that you know speaks to who he is as just a team player. Uh, you know, he's continued to take steps each each year in his career and um, yeah I couldn't be more pleased for him too because I I think that defensive award you know is, is there's several good candidates all types of different candidates for that award within our league and, and I do think it speaks to just the you know each of our eight opponents in the league probably you know who do they fear de dealing with the most and you know that's not a measurable stat but it's apparent that that's the way the coach has leaned, and I'm um, real happy for him. I think after the last game, you mentioned that you know Adam, Julius, Scott, or any of those guys you feel could, could take the load. I guess for Adam to get freshman of the year, Scott to get first team. I guess what does that kind of say about this group of the talent in that back court? Yeah, you know, and Julius was a second team last year, so to have three three guys that have been honored now at the All Conference level to some, I think it speaks to our uh, our talent there. It speaks to those guys, um, their readiness. I think it speaks to our, um, our offense as a whole, our offensive line, uh, our tight ends. You know, I, I'm sure those guys would be the first to say that they're the beneficiary of uh, a lot of great opportunities. And I also think it speaks to the competition. Though. Um, you know, anytime you have that kind of competition in depth um, at that position in particular, it's going to bring the best out of those guys, and they're going to make the most of their opportunities um, and not uh, take any of those opportunities for granted. So I think. You know, as we've gone through this year, those opportunities have gone up and down for each one of those guys. And you know, I, I think we can look back and say, boy, each and every game, someone steps to the plate. And, uh, you know, that's exciting for us as we kind of finish up the regular season, but I think also exciting as we look forward to the postseason. And I guess we got that offensive line, a bunch of those guys all over the country. I guess speaking of that group and just their success this season. Yeah, you know, I, I think. Same thing to some degree. It, it speaks to the whole group um, first and foremost. Um, I know, uh, you know, Marcus and you know, I think Marcus is unanimous. I think that makes perfect sense to me. If there was an old lineman of the year, I think it would be him in my mind. We don't have that in our league. Um, you know, Connor being first team, and then Titan and Cole both being second team. You know, and I you know there's Justice who was a you know, conference honoree, you know, uh, last year as well. So, and JT has been too. Um, yeah, I mean, so you think about that. We have six guys that are playing for us that have garnered all conference mentioned. So, uh, again, same thing. I think competition, I think coaching, um, you know, whether it's Al right now or Brian Armstrong before, I think those guys really get coached up. I think they develop. I think, uh, 
extremely well in our weight room, so credit goes to Coach Heron. Um, you know, and it's, a, it's an unselfish group that's about results that the team gets. Um, and uh, you know, when you have an unselfish group like that, guys are willing to play roles. Um, occasionally they garner you know, individual honors like this. So uh, yeah, excited for, for that group. I hadn't really thought about it. To have six, six guys that have gotten all conference mention of some sort, it's pretty, it's pretty significant. Um, oh, I guess just speaking of Connor, just kind of the development he's made from starting last year to kind of, I guess, now being in the best Yeah, you know, I think Connor's, uh, you know, the picture of a um, type of guy that, you know, we want to get in here that's that's got all kinds of potential, um, that needs needs a year of uh, the weight room, and, and then you turn him loose, and he can become real force in short order and I say that I think kind of was a force last year as a freshman so he's been able to take his game to another level this year um, you know and, and he's not going to be the last one like that that comes in you know uh, somewhere before his senior year at camp and is 240 245 but he's 6'5 6 6'6 6 6, and you know we see something in him and then we can you know, turn him loose to coach Heron and um, he can really become something so yeah I, I could be more pleased with you know, Connor's development, but there's a lot of people that give cre get credit for that, and it goes all the way back to the recruiting trail. Um, you know, before Connor was, you know, he's coming from Ohio. That's a long ways from here. So thankful we discovered him. Thankful we convinced him to come here, and you know, really excited about what he's going to do.